Hi, I'm Jimmy Brown, and today I'm going to show you how to play Immigrant Song, that classic track that opens Led Zeppelin III. To demonstrate the guitar parts in this song, I'm going to play along with a superbly produced backing track, recently recorded in the UK with real instruments. The track has been produced as part of a compilation for two soon-to-be-released book and CD products in the US, Alpha Music Publishing's Ultimate Play Along Led Zeppelin Volumes 1 and 2, which will also be available in the UK through music sales. For the purposes of this lesson, I was fortunate enough to borrow this lovely uh, Gibson Custom Shop replica of Jimmy Page's number two Les Paul, complete with all the bells and whistles, push pull pots, uh, coil tapping, out of phase, uh, serial parallel uh, humbucking, single coil switching. So it's pretty cool. All right, here we go with the intro of the song, played along with the track, and then I'll slow it down. Okay, I stopped there for a reason because the part changes a little bit. So let's go back to the intro going into the first verse uh, with the backing track slowed down. And I'll give you some pointers on playing this seemingly simple yet tricky riff. Okay, the one thing that makes this riff tricky, after all, I mean, it's just octaves, just F sharp octaves, but the picking can be tricky because you have to reach up with a, with a downstroke to hit this high F sharp and then turn around and play an upstroke. So it's down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Playing it any other way just doesn't feel right. Uh, you know, down, down, up. Because you're, you're playing 16th notes, so you have to go down, up when you have two 16th notes in a row. So you can get away with down, consecutive downstrokes at this tempo when you're just playing eighth notes. So down, down, up, then up, you have to do another down. Down, up, up, down, down. This is what's called uh, inside the strings picking. If you look at these two strings, it's two F sharp notes. I'm, I'm picking on it, they form like a, a parallel uh, line here. So I'm, I'm picking on the inside of them. That's actually harder, you know, an easier way to pick would be to go outside the strings. You get a lot more speed that way because the hand, you know, each pick stroke sends your hand in the direction of the next note. But that just unfortunately does not really work out for the song. So um, the best bet is to try to just stay relaxed and try not to waste any movement and just let the, let the pick kind of like get off that, that note and just kind of like roll back over to the low note. And it, you'll find that it helps with the, uh, the fretting hand. Once you pick the high note, you kind of like jump off of it with the pinky. That helps keep it nice and punctuated and staccato. Just you know, practice it slowly and gradually build up to tempo. All right, at the beginning of the verse, uh, there's another guitar part that just plays these big chords with a tremolo effect, which I happen to have here. And then that guitar is out. Okay, but the main guitar is also playing those chords without the tremolo effect. But the, it could be a little tricky just getting into that, that first A chord because it's just single notes. The, the last part of the riff, you know, with the ah. Now both guitars are playing that E, E, A, and then you're back to the riff. Okay, the reason I paused before is now that we're into the verse, um, Jimmy Page kind of truncates the riff a little bit. He leaves, he leaves out one note. So instead of bum, 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 
It's just I don't know whether he felt uh, it, it just kind of felt more grooving or less busy behind the vocals that way. Or maybe it was just, you know, it's kind of hard to keep that going, you know. You know, this has more staying power. Now, the riff has already been established, and again, the vo there were vocals being sung above it, so it, it probably worked out better to just have the riff slightly simplified. All right, next up is the chorus part, which comes after the verse. I'm going to play it at full tempo with the backing track, and then I'll play it slowed down, and then uh, I'll just show you. It's, it's fairly easy. Okay, the only other part I need to show you is the outro. Here it is played with the backing track at tempo and then slowed down. So the only thing different about this outro uh, are those chord punches, which uh, now I've seen this in transcriptions, and a lot of people have assumed it's C9. Because you hear the bass John Paul Jones playing a C. Which sounds very, very haunting and spooky, you know, that tritone. But uh, Jimmy Page recently told Guitar World that he does not play a C9 chord. He plays a G minor chord. It's like almost classical type of voicing. You have the low G, the third fret, and B flat, the open D string, and then B flat and D at the third fret on the G and D strings. But that chord played over C produces a kind of like a C9 no three, no third sound, or G minor over C. So the combination of Page going. Jones going that note an octave lower, so that the C note is below the, the guitar's G. That produces that adds to the dissonance and makes the song the chord that much more haunting. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and I've gotten some new insights into the way Jimmy Page really plays immigrant song. If you're a huge Led Zeppelin fan like me, be sure to pick up the soon-to-be-released full-length Guitarla DVD, tentatively titled "Play the Best of Led Zeppelin." 
In the DVD, I'll be teaching you how to play four other classic Led Zeppelin songs. Since I've Been Loving You, Rock and Roll, Stairway to Heaven, and The Song Remains the Same. Using the same approach I took in this lesson, with high quality backing tracks. The DVD will be available on New Sands this fall, and also through the Guitar World online store. I'm Jimmy Brown, see you next time.